GitHub is an excellent resource for open source hardware in Eagle format. However, we found that many users run into trouble when they first come to get a file from GitHub. Hi, my name is George Garcia and in this video I'm going to show you the pitfall to avoid when getting source material from GitHub. So right now we're looking at one of my projects. Uh, as you can see, it's from two years ago. Now, for many users, especially if they're new to Eagle or new to using GitHub, what they're going to see is that I have a lot of extra documentation here. And they're really only interested in the schematic in the board. So they'll come, they'll go to the schematic in the board section here, they'll right-click, and they'll go Save Link As. Okay, we'll go to Downloads, they'll hit Save. And as far as they know, and as far as it appears right now, it downloaded as a normal Eagle board file. But the truth is very different. If I go and show the file in the folder, right click, edit with Notepad++, you're going to see that inside there's no XML at all. This is just some HTML that GitHub uses. Okay, so if an unsuspecting user tries to open this file, such as myself right now, by double clicking on it, what do we get? Bam. Error, line 8, column 16, this is not an Eagle file. And a new user of Eagle is just going to be totally perplexed by this. So when using GitHub, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot right click and select File Save As. It does not work. It does not work at all. What you have to do if you want to download the Eagle files is go to the main repository and you're going to see that you have this green button over here. It says clone or download. Easiest way to get the files is to right click here, sorry, left click here, and click download zip. You'll get everything that's in the repository, but you will get also the intact schematic and board file. Thank you very much. Have a great day.